Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Apex Legends. And buckle up, we need to talk. We need to talk about the Apex Legends matchmaking system, the skill-based matchmaking, and the fact that you have to play 10 matches before you can play any ranked matches, no matter what skill gap of a, or what skill you are as a player. Now the gameplay you're seeing in the background is, uh, it was actually recorded prior to Tuesday's video and I'm trying to level my second account up to level 10 so I can play ranked with my friend. And you've seen it on this channel before, T-Nerd or Trent. He is new to Apex Legends on PC and hadn't played a whole lot, so he wants to play some ranked with me. I'm a, I think I'm in plat, what, something right now. And he's in recruit, not like I said, not played at all. He cannot play with me, so I made a second account, trying to level it up so we can both start at recruit and get him up high enough rank so he can play with me on my main. The issue I have is, I mean, and this is no offense, no disrespect to my teammate. He should not be in my lobbies. I should not be in his lobbies. And don't get me wrong. He held his own, but you can clearly tell that he was maybe either new to Storm Point or maybe even new to Apex in general. His map awareness and movement, stuff like that, was just not on par with where it should be for someone, for the lobbies that I'm used to. And that brings me to my main issue. There is no way to avoid this. If you make a second account, you have to start from level one and rank all the way up to level 10 and then go through start at recruit if you want to play ranked and go all the way up to diamond platinum masters whatever you want to go to and other games have a placement system where you play say you play 10 public matches something like that five public matches and you get a ranking and based off how well you perform now you of course you can sandbag in there and be put in bronze or whatever but say if apex had the system i would not Ha be having to do this i would not need a second account i would not have to ruin other people's games pub stomping i mean that's exactly what this is it's me pub stomping and if if he could just play some placement games get up to gold which he's easily a gold level player and he'd be able to play with me and again no hate towards my teammate no hate towards anybody in this lobby there were a couple of good players in this lobby i don't know if they were on smurf accounts or if they were doing the same thing i was doing trying to level up but it, it, it should not be like this. I should not have to make a second account and be forced to play public matches against people who are new to the game, just trying it out for the first time, maybe coming back to it. And I, I'm someone who plays Apex every day. I should not be in these lobbies. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to them. And I'm saying it's like I'm some type of world beater. I'm not. I'm an average at best player. So imagine... You know, you see someone like NRG Sweet doing this or Timmy or his Watson. Imagine what they would do to these lobbies because there's no placement system. And that brings me on to my second point. I won this game and you saw you saw my next win. It was a video I uploaded Tuesday. After that, I won a, the third game in a row and wasn't nothing spectacular. I think I had 800 damage and three kills. The very next game after that, I was just still in duos. It was a current pred player i think i don't know what rank he was and a former pred player playing together and like it was a soup it was one of the sweatiest lobbies i've been in in a week and not just because of the champions every person i ran into they had you know masters dive trails diamond dive trail my teammate uh matter of fact had a diamond dive trail it was super sweaty everyone was holding angles you know running sears horizons like the full mlg sweat fest meta in a public match because I had a couple of good games and that is the polar opposite of the gameplay you're watching there's that's my biggest issue with Apex there's no middle ground there's no middle ground in public matches and there should be you either get lobbies like this where everyone says that, oh you're just playing bots you're not playing anybody why would you even upload this you either get lobbies like that or you play against full three stacks of Preds holding each other's hands acting like it's the last round of a four million dollar tournament there's no in between and the only bit of uh, air quotes in between in Apex eyes is, so let's say you win a game, you have a pretty good game. The very next game, look at your teammate. Guarantee they would be a newer player, maybe someone who's not that good, um, not had the best luck. And the champion squad would be, like I said, a full three stack holding each other's hands, playing like it's a professional tournament. That's Apex's uh, version of balancing. You give a guy who's on a win streak, an awful teammate, and put you up against, you know, good players. Good luck. Hope you can carry. And that's not what a puppet match should be. 
there needs to be a a medium. There needs to be a happy medium, a middle ground where you have a couple of good players, you have a couple of bad players, you have mostly average players in every lobby. Now, I'm an idiot. I have no idea how they could do this. I just know that this game's made well over $2 billion. It's come out in 2019. It's been around for a while. There needs to be a fix. This has to be addressed. Because look at the people that I'm just absolutely destroying right here. Honestly, it's not even that hard. I'm not Again, I'm not bragging. I'm an average at best player. And imagine you're one of the people who I have one clip. Do you want to play this game anymore? I wouldn't. Let's say this is your first time on. You load into the game, storm point, just explore the map. Here I come just trying to level my count up so I can play with my friend. And I one clip you and your teammate move right on to the next. How's that going to make you feel? Are you want to continue playing Apex? You want to go back and play uh, Call of Duty? If they, maybe instead of the um, after action report, little surveys they give you from time to time, maybe when you make a new account, one of those should pop up. Hey, have you ever played this game before? Are you new to first person shooters? Are you experienced first person shooters? And if you answer those honestly, maybe you get, you know, average lobbies instead of lobbies like these. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a software developer. I'm not an engineer. I'm just an idiot who makes awful videos and puts them on the internet. And I'm sure no one at EA or Respawn will see this video. I mean, I have 130 subs. They don't care who I am. They don't care about my opinions. But what I care about is Apex. I enjoy this game. I do enjoy Apex. And as someone who enjoys Apex, I'm willing to overlook a lot of bugs. I mean, if you play this game, you know audio sometimes is just non-existent. You, people walk up right behind you. You never know it. So there's some ultimates that are broken. There's some legends that are broken. Serum looking at you. But what I cannot overlook is the skill-based matchmaking and the matchmaking in general. Because it not only affects me, it affects new players. It affects people who, you know, play this game for a living. It affects every, every person who signs on Apex or is affected by the matchmaking in this game. And like I said, I do enjoy Apex, but I'm at the point now where I'm looking for other games to play. I'm tired of, I'm tired of needing a team in order to have fun. I just sometimes just want to hop on and play some solos. You can't do that. And honestly, I'm, I'm bad at my wits end. And I don't, I did not want to have to make this type of video. I don't like making this type of videos, like complaining, but it has to be said. I, it has to be said. But that's enough of my rambling. I'm going to let y'all get into the rest of the video. And if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts about the Apex matchmaking system? And what do you think they can do to maybe change it, make it better? Because like I said, right now, it's not in a good state. And if you made it this long into my boring commentary, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, peace out. Enjoy the rest of the video. Apex Champions.